Hi, let's have a look at this Microsoft community thread. So the plan is we need to create a work item in Azure DevOps with attachments from a new email. Okay, so let's go and build a flow. So for this, the trigger we are going to use here is the Outlook trigger. When a new email arrives, and I'm going to put the subject filter here. So let's talk about somebody sending some details uh, for raising a bug or something and that need to create as a work item in Azure DevOps. So I'm going to put report a bug. There we go. And only with attachments. Yes. So I'm expecting some attachments which should contain how to replicate the error. Okay, and uh, include attachments as says. Okay, that's the trigger. The next thing we need to do here is we need to go and create the work item. So for that, I'm going to use Azure DevOps connector. As you can see here, there is something called create a work item here. Okay, select the organization, then the project, work type, Okay, work type, I'm going to make that as a task. And oh, there's an issue here, is it? Yeah, I'm going to use the issue here, yeah. And then the title. So title, I'm going to say it's coming from the email subject. There we go. That is report a bug. That's what our title is going to be. See the subject filter, yeah. And then the description. So the description also coming from the email body. So search for the body, body of the message. Okay, that's done. So at this stage, we created the work item. The next thing we need to do here is we need to get the attachments from the email and upload that into the Azure DevOps, then link that to the work item which we created, okay? So for that, I'm going to create a combos here and uh, look for the attachment name. So here we go, you can see attachments name there. So now you can see there's an apply to each loop uh, being constructed by the flow because the reason here is email could have more than one attachments, okay? That's the reason. Okay, so the next, step we need to do here is there is nothing for the attachments as a create item under the Azure DevOps connector here. So if I search for attachments, there is nothing here. But there is something called send a, an HTTP request to Azure DevOps here. Okay, so we are going to use the REST API to upload the attachments. So for that, I'm going to use again the organization name that's the post we need here then the relate to url so the relate to url is going to be something like this and the file name is equal to the attachment name this is a name you know either i could map the output of the compost or directly map that value from the outlook connector so i'm going to delete this now we don't need that anymore okay that's attachment name so I'm going to put all these under my video description, the REST API connections, yeah. Then the content type. Okay, the content type is application slash octet stream. Then the body, okay. Body, we need to look for the attachment content. So that's attachments content we need. And here we need to say body is base 64, yes. Okay. So this stage we have done the, you know, we created the, the attachment in Azure DevOps, but we haven't linked it. Okay. So let's save this.
Okay, so for testing, I need to send an email with a subject containing report a bug and also an attachment. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. Okay, I ran the flow now. That means I send an email. You can see it's failed. Let's have a look at why it's failed. So here it says unable to pass base 64 encoded bytes. That's very strange. So let's go back. I'm going to try to send base 64 as no now and save it. Okay, use the same failed trigger to test it so that I don't want to send another email. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like that ran successfully and I have got the body as ID and the URL here. So let's copy this content. What we want is we need to use this URL and um, the URL later on down the line now. So I'm going to use pass JSON step. Map the body from the sent HTTP previous step. Generate the sample. Copy the content which we copied from. So that's that. And the next thing we need to do here is um, now we are ready to do the you know the attachment linking to the create work item. So for that again we need within the loop again we need another uh, send HTTP one. So let's go to Azure DevOps send an HTTP request and um, select the organization and this is a patch we need to do here okay and then we need the relate to your list this year but the work item id is the id of the work item which is this okay that's the id there that's the way we are linking that attachment to this id okay then the header the header is again going to be content type content dash type then the application slash json patch that's what we want okay that's that then the body so the body content and explain it is what we want here so again i'm going to put, put that in my video description below okay so for this the url which i mentioned above that it is coming from here this is the url it's been mapped below and the attachment name then the comment bug details you know the appropriate comment uh, depends on your business scenario you can put that so this comment and then the name yeah and uh, let's run this flow now okay okay it looks like the flow ran successfully let's go to my work items so i might have two or three one because I ran a couple of times so let's take the latest one which should have the attachment so this is the one yeah 46 yes I can see there's an attachment here let me open this attachment so here we go so I got an error here because something not quite right here so what I found out is let me go back and edit here remember when we did the attachment here we say, we set body is base 64 and that it didn't like it that time but strangely if i set back to yes now earlier when i said to yes i got the error the first time now i added all the below steps and now it is s the body uh, is base 64 as s try to run this again now okay flow ran successfully so we should have 47 now let's go back to the 47 that's the latest one or under the work items i can go back here see that's the latest one 47 and that's my attachment and if i open that here we go there's our attachment content there so i'm not really sure what happened there at the first very first run for some reason when we set this to no it didn't like it sorry when it said to yes it didn't like it and then when we ran the final uh, these two steps then the content kind of getting blank 
the attachment is there, but there is nothing in the PDF content. So then I set back to yes again. So I don't know if you know anything about this, please comment um, below the video. I really appreciate it. Hope this is useful and thank you for watching.